Good morning. It is day nine of Vlogmas. It is a Wednesday and we got some snow overnight and it is so pretty outside. I have had a quiet morning. I've just been folding laundry. I cleaned the kitchen because I left it in quite a state last night. And I think next I am going to tidy up my sewing studio. I have a little bit of work to do this morning and I'm not really sure what the rest of my day holds yet. I think I want to repaint my nails because I can't stop thinking about the teal green nail polish. So I think that needs to be done. And Glenn mentioned to me this morning that he really wants to take Camden back to the to toy store, the pet store, to get one more hermit crab. We're really liking them. They are kind of quiet. They've both been MIA most of the day. Well, all day actually. One of them comes out a little bit at night that we've seen. We haven't really seen the other one. I've been researching it and the temperature in there is great. So all is going well. Um, but I think Glenn just wanted to add one to the mix. So I'm looking forward to that. I really like them. Camden really likes them. We do not have names yet. James was trying to convince him to name them Rashi and Jesse. I don't know if you know the reference for that. It's a soccer reference. Um, but Camden is not into soccer and so he said no. So he's thinking on some names and I will keep you posted on them. And if we get a new one, I will share that too. But I think I'm just gonna head into the sewing studio, um, get my work done, a little bit of a tidy. I really wanna organize some of my stationary stuff because the last few weeks I have not been documenting my days and I love that and I have so many little tags and things from the mail and from friends that I'd like to put into my Hobonichi. So I might do a bit of that and I have some knitting to do because I didn't do any knitting last night. I just relaxed and I'd love to get the cuff finished on my sweater and get working on that sock too. I came in here to take the sticker off of the tank for Camden because it was kind of obstructing his view. But what a nightmare. So I'm just sitting here making a mess, scraping it off. Hopefully it won't take me all day. I just finished taking all of that sticky goo off of the glass. Took me a while, but I used Goo Gone and it looks really good. Which is helpful because just behind there is where one of the little hermit crabs is resting. You can see just the top of his white shell. And the other guy is somewhere under that bridge, but we haven't seen him in a while. So it's all set. Camden actually moved this sign right in front of it. We got this in Cape Cod one year on our vacation and it's usually really hard to find anything with his name on it, so we really like that. So they are all cozy, warm for the day. I think I check on them more than anyone else in the house, but I think that's to be expected. I've made myself a delicious cup of coffee. I'm about to paint my nails again. And it's pretty neat and tidy in here. I need to empty the garbage, but I did a really good tidy up. My sewing tables are clean. The shelves are looking good. I 
reorganized some of my shelves on this side so they are really tidy now too I've got leather pouches and fabrics zippers shipping stuff everything is super tidy and I even have a little bit of space on top of this shelf which is unusual and the only thing that I have left to do I've done most of my work for today is just go through my planner and journaling stuff that's the only part I haven't gotten to I've got my Hobonichi here I've got a whole bunch of papers and ephemera that I'm going to slap in some of the blank pages I'm going to reorganize my pouches. I've got a lot of them. And just make sure that I have the essentials easily accessible so that I can keep up with my journaling again. And I think I'm going, going to set up my Jezebel pouch. I'm not sure with what yet, um, but I really want to use it. And so I think I'm going to do all of that later. But first, I'm going to have my coffee and do my nails. Quite a bit of time has passed. I made the mistake of laying down to let my nails dry and watching a few vlogmases this afternoon and I really did not want to get up. But I'm losing light and I thought I should try to get a start on this little project before I need to have dinner going. It is almost 4.30 and I did catch up on some So Sweet Violet vlogmases which I was a little behind on and I watched some more Maria from Woolen Forest so those are some recommendations for vlogmas for you. Um, so what am I doing here? I've kind of collected all of the pouches and this basket with all of my journaling and planner supplies and I think my plan is to just empty every one of these pouches streamline them because I think I have a few too many here and there's another one in here and just get things easily available so that I can take my journal and a pouch or two to the kitchen table to the dining room to the bedroom wherever and just catch up a little bit on some journaling because I haven't really been doing much in the last month or so which I'm not surprised it was really busy and I go through phases of not really using it as much and I would like to finish up a few pages before the year is out and before I start my new one. So that's what I'm going to do and if you've been following along with me for a while and you've ever seen my stationery and journaling stuff, I haven't really changed much. I still have the same setup, I just have a new cover. So this is my planner and everyday journal. And it is a Hobonichi. I got a new cover recently and I'm in love with this cover. I don't know if you can really appreciate it, but it's embroidered and it's fabric and it has the zip around. So this is a Hobonichi cover with a Hobonichi insert. This is the A5 Cousin Avec and the Avec is um, the smaller book. So you get two books for the year so that when you put in all of these little, you, you tape in or glue in papers and tags and photos they can get really thick so I've been using the Avec to kind of help with that so this is my everyday planner and um, I'll give you a rundown of how I use it without going into too much detail I use the monthly pages just to document big appointments um, holidays anything major birthdays things that I, I cannot forget about so that's my monthlies they're, they're pretty boring my weeklies are probably where I spend the most time I will section off the bottom 
and I kind of use the same format every week where I usually put my key three things to do that week over here. I didn't this time because I put the sticker in there. At the bottom, I usually have things that I'm waiting for in the mail. Could be supplies for my business or it could just be things I've ordered for myself. I put our, our meal plans down here. Um, any soccer stuff goes in here for James and I kind of keep track of when I'm in my studio working and my cleaning schedule and then if I need to kind of readjust things it helps me to actually have a visual and I can go back and look and see how things are working and what I need to change. Um, I do like to kind of make a few notes in here too of anything like if we watched a movie um, just what's going on and I will sometimes use stamps, I will use stickers, washi tape, markers, whatever I have, whatever I feel like. Some weeks I don't have much decoration at all. Um, some weeks there's more. This week is all black and white because this was a really heavy work week for me in the sewing studio and so when I'm at my machines and I'm pressing and sewing I don't really have time for much else and you can kind of see that this week some weeks I had nothing not that I had nothing to do but I just didn't even use it and then other weeks I use it more so it really varies and when you jump up to the weekly uh, the daily section sorry just before it starts I had put down these stamps they're sort of like paint swatch stamps and I've put samples of all of the fountain pen inks that I have so that if I want to switch out my pens, I can just have a look here and see what color on this paper, um, like how it looks on the paper. And that helps me pick a new color. And I started out July in this book really great with my dailies. I did, um, I put in photos. I did lots of decorating. I actually was really enjoying journaling with my fountain pens this year and rediscovering them so I started out really well a lot of these are um, a lot of these things are from Courtney Diaz I I'm a patron of hers on patreon she is little Ra little ink or little raven ink I will put her um, information below and um, I just, I love adding them in when you don't have a ton to write. You can just put in some of her collage sheets. And these were really great ones that I had previously, um, I was previously a subscriber on Patreon as well. I am no longer, I'm, I'm going to put her name down below because I can't remember right now. But it's really fun to find different artists and then get collage sheets. I've added in a picture of what we made and I just really enjoyed a lot of journaling this year and then I got into a phase of not being able to keep up so I would just put in things um, like a postcard that came with a package or a photo of something I was doing I tried to keep up with some notes and some journaling and I really love this book this is I think it's the first time that I've been using a Hobonichi for years but I think it's the first time that I haven't felt bad about blank pages they don't bother me anymore and so what I've done today is I've just put in some of these little bits and pieces that I know when a package came like this day I got a new paint set so I put in all of the little wrappers from the paint and I've just been putting in some tags and things from packages that I've been receiving so I'm going to catch up with some notes on that and um, tape them all in and just try to finish off a few pages in December so that um, I have a record of all these beautiful things that I have been receiving or have been given to me or that we've been doing not that we've been doing much but you know what I mean so that is my daily planner and journal I also use a traveler's notebook which I still really love. I just love the feel of it. I love the look of it. This is a camel one. 
And I had this one customized a while ago from a store in California called Baum Kuchen or Baum Kuchen. I'm not quite sure how you say it. And most of this stuff you can get, um, well, the customization is from Baum Kuchen, but any of the little accessories are either from there or um, Wonder Pens. There's a website for Wonder Pens in Toronto and Paper Plus Cloth. These are the main places that I shop for any of this stuff. So if anything looks um, intriguing to you, I would suggest checking them out. I will put their websites down below so that you can find them a little more easily. But this book is um, a collection of notebooks and I use this a little bit more for, um, how do I say it? It's kind of like goals, priorities, um, bigger plans, like future plans for my home, for my business, things that I just want to keep um, keep in my mind so that I'm constantly thinking about my goals and not forgetting them because of the day-to-day -day busyness. So I love this. I don't, um, I don't open it every day, but I think I am going to use it a little more now because the new year is coming and I have some ideas that I want to put down on paper. And I am going to start emptying all of these out. I'd really like to use this pouch that I shared recently from Jezebel. And I'm going to figure out how I can use this and make this a little more streamlined so that I can just get back to journaling and documenting in this beautiful month. It's almost six o'clock, which is a little late for me to be starting dinner prep, but I got carried away emptying out pouches and I started to edit today's video because I've been using my new camera and I wanted to make sure everything was going okay, which it is. And now I am very hungry and we are just going to have a penne with, I don't even know what kind of sauce. I'm just gonna make a quick I might do like a rosé sauce with some onion and garlic, but I just have had a week where even though I had a few plans for meal prep or meal planning, I haven't felt like making any of it. So I haven't really used any of those recipes that I mentioned the other day, but eventually I will. And tonight I'm just making a really easy and comforting pasta.